Celebrating 20 years of Trexone, this is Trexone Plays. Thank you. I'm not sure one of my kind would have done for you what you did for me. I did not expect a show of mercy. I hoped, but you could have just as easily left me to my fate. See, that's... that's just one of the differences between Starfleet and you. Scions of the Flame. Our mission is to help when we can, even if that means helping our enemies. There is honor in that. Now that we're safe on your ship, I think you were right to bring her. Things seem a little different now than they did in the heat of battle. There's more than one way to deal with messy situations. You're not mad that I didn't release Atasca from her situation? After all the trials we'd survived, maybe there's more room to hope for Atasca than I thought. Surprises here. But your shoulders separated. If you come with me to Sick Bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh thank you. I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. making us proud out there, Diaz. The lower decks don't get a lot of glory. I'm just getting started. She was a good little escape pod. Not that I want another ride like that anytime soon. Tell me, did any crew from the Zelti survive? Well, since the Lydian ships have no escape pods, I think it was just us. I see. I thought so. I had a partner on board. After this mission, she and I were meant to... Doesn't matter. All that matters now is making the Takan pay for what they've done. We'll stop them. I promise. Yes. Yeah? Did you see our people over there? Miranda? Kapoor? Hauser? We saw Miranda and Kapoor, but they're bioformed. And as far as I know, there's no way to undo it. It means they're not our friends anymore. If they attack us? We'll have to stop them. No matter what it takes. Yeah. I, I guess we have to be ready for that. I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chobok. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him, but I can just imagine the look on his face. You know what? I want to see him too. It'll be nice to get one piece of normalcy. I'm sure we can count on him for that. I can't believe it! You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, 
and lived to talk about it. That about sums it up. They're gonna be teaching this at the Academy for years to come. I mean it. Everybody's gonna learn how you pulled it off. At the Academy? Oh, well, I, I wouldn't know about that. After this, you'll probably get a personal invitation to show them how it's done. I heard about Belle. Is Miranda... As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. She's a hell of an officer. But none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. I guess there's never a dull moment around here, huh? You're telling me it's not always like this? Not if we can help it. <clears throat> Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. It is agreeable to see you as well, sir. I concur. You should know your absences left engineering terribly shorthanded. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule. On both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. Seems like you could use some help around here. We're ready to go to work. I'd like to catch my breath for at least a few minutes, Carter. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. When I heard you destroy the Takan Vault, I was surprised. By my order? By myself. Surprised that I was glad to hear it. The Hotari do not wage war or kill our enemies if we can avoid it. But hearing that the Takan, who have decimated my people, took such a loss... Is it wrong that it feels like justice? We've lost so much to the Takan. Things we can never get back. We sometimes have to take lives in the line of duty, but we can never take pleasure in it. A necessary evil? One of many. Oh, that's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. I know you had your reasons for destroying the Taconian crystals, and I won't question them. Hopefully this galvanizes the bridge crew behind your leadership. But I expect there will be fallout with Portal. Assuming he's still with us, I sincerely doubt he's indifferent to what happened. He's not happy about it, but once I explain my reasoning, I think he'll understand. As long as you're prepared either way, all I can ask. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. It basically comes down to Westbrook, Ermot, or Bedrosian. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each. But ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Lieutenant Bedrosian has always been devoted to you. And Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. You really couldn't go wrong with any of them. At the moment, I'm leaning toward selecting Commander Westbrook as the new First Officer. That would be an excellent choice, considering your history. The crew would respect the fact you chose someone likely to challenge your opinions and present a different point of view. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. 
We'll have Ambassador Spock via subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. Petty officers Diaz and Edsilar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual, but I trust you have no objections? Talk about moving up in the world. These are unusual times, Mr. Chobak. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsilar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended. Not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. Well, I could say the same thing about Edsilar here. She deserves as much of the credit as I do. It's like a mutual admiration society. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Rindek. Your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead, the Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So... What's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed? I wish I could tell you the solution. But the truth is, there is no easy answer. There's no defense against bioforming. One-on-one -on -one or on a mass scale. At least, not that I know of. Hmm. We may not be able to stop it, but it might be possible to slow it down. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. I'll forego the rest of my treatments, if it means the crew will be safe. Captain, you'd die. That's an honorable intention, but it's not that simple. It requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough Deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good, then. The use case I'd suggest is that could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. That raises the question, what is the mission? The Zeldi's shields were stronger than anticipated. If the Aphelion has even more effective protection, We'll have difficulty breaking through. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. And destroy it from the inside. Modify photon torpedoes to use as explosives. 
So it's like jujitsu. We use their attack and turn it against them. That's the idea. We'll keep thinking on it. I'd rather not have to take a direct hit to punch back. There might be some other way we can turn their strength into a weakness. I'll have security personnel prep a boarding party, should the opportunity arise. Petty Officers Ed Salar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't a rescue. It's a tactical incursion. Do you really have some special insights as Commander Chovak suggests? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. Sabotage is kind of becoming our specialty. We'll find a way to get the job done. Well, he certainly has the swagger for it. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. With the help of Portal, he should be part of the away team. I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Tacon tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsalar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The Resolute Command Codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek for control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval. Beta, 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Voice authorization, Rydek. Alpha, 5, Whiskey. Captain's codes transfer. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. It is an honor and a pleasure to name Commander Westbrook as my new first officer. Thank you, Captain. You made the right choice. Congratulations, Commander. It's long overdue. I know we've had our differences, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Computer, Commander Westbrook is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain, could I have a word with you? Give me a minute. Look, I respect your decision, Captain. Commander Westbrook has seniority, and I can understand why you might have felt pressure to promote him. But what I can't understand is why you would choose someone so clearly unsuited for the position. It's the very reason why Captain Solano chose you over him. Because he knew Westbrook, his first officer, would be disastrous. The answer is simple, Commander Ermont. I need Westbrook's support, especially now. If I chose you, after everything that's happened and him being passed over before, I'd lose him forever. So please, don't take it personally. It's hard not to when I'm the one who earned it. Maybe I've had it wrong this whole time. I thought we've had an excellent working relationship almost from the moment you first arrived. 
Yes, I was insulted when you didn't trust me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised, but I've always supported you, which is certainly more than you can say about Westbrook. He was always against you, especially with regard to Captain Solano. But I guess loyalty counts for nothing with you. Listen, I value your opinion more than just about anyone's. I rely on it. And if we're going to beat Galvin, I'll need your help now more than ever. So please, don't be discouraged. I'll be fine. Just give me some time. Understand. Giving everything she's got, but it doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. The internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. If I may, Captain. Communications are critical to ship operations. And I should go take care of this. Go. I was hoping we could buy enough time until Starfleet could send more ships. But it looks like we might have to face off against the Aphelion sooner than we might want. If it's just us, I don't like our chances. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. Draconian lives was a fatal mistake. And I will personally make sure you stay alive long enough to regret it. You were right to run. But there is no escape from the inevitable. Let's not kid ourselves. We both know that was just ammunition for you. I saved millions of innocent people from being bioformed. But you can't even save your own life much less the lives of your crew. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve as one of us. Engineering section. No systems or structural damage, though.
They were targeting the crew, not the ship. Captain, we have to respond. Hit him in the mouth. Fire photon torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. Photon torpedoes are having no impact, Captain. We can't get past their shields. It's too powerful to take head on. Damage report from the lower decks. I still can't raise them, Captain. Could it be that the system's down? Well, that was the Takan bioforming ray. And there's no one left down there to respond. The Takan may already be on this ship. No way of knowing how bad it is yet. Seal the bridge. No one gets access without my permission. I think that's for the best. Here are your new tricorders. Now go. Get to the transporter room. Transporter room one. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. These are concentrated iridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, take it right before if you can get the Takan to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. We need to tunnel through the shields. to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from Stand the side. The signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. Thanks for that. No need. We must be on our way. I am Portal 63, guardian of the Decon Empire. Nice to meet you, uh, Portal. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. On your order. Energize. Glory 
of it. This ship is a marvel. Even to me. It's almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. And it won't see one ever again. It is beautiful. I'll give you that. Resolute, come in! We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. The signal's gone. Are they there? Did you get them? They didn't make it. Oh my god. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. It's served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am... saturated in Taconian power readings. I... can't feel the source just yet. I can't reach anyone. At least not on the lower decks. It's like they're all... gone. The comm systems seem to be operational again. That bioforming ray may have transformed dozens of crew members on the lower decks. This ship could be swarming with resurrected Takan. It's only a matter of time before they come to their senses and take action. Which means we have a narrow window of time to cut them off before. Captain! We're holding them off as best we can on deck nine, but... If they spread throughout the decks, we'll never know who to trust. Civil War aboard our own ship. Lock down the affected areas immediately. Close the bulkheads and erect the containment fields. No one is allowed in or out without my authorization. There could be crew members who weren't affected who could get locked inside. That's a risk we'll have to take. Initiating a lockdown now. What happens if some of the bioformed manage to escape? How should the crew engage them? Or should they? You don't want suspicion to run rampant. Captain Solano had a favorite proverb from Earth. Trust but verify. Everyone should assume we're all on the same side. But at the same time, they should watch for anything abnormal. If they're bioformed, they're not our crew anymore. Have we heard anything from Commander Ermot? No. It's not like him. The comm system he went to investigate. It's near the affected area. Commander Ermot. Commander Ermot, can you hear me? According to this, it was initiated by Commander Ermont. What? The Central Computer Corps will shut down in 10 minutes. We'll lose all critical ship functions. It can only be overridden by the captain of the Corps itself. With me. Stop! Identify! 
identify yourselves. We're just trying to figure out what's happening. Ah, to hell with it. 